it's Grandma and Peter. We're at the door. And there was a special visitor there, wasn't there? Were you frightened? Mm, you were. You don't need to be frightened. Why not? Because it's a friendly spider. Come and have a look. Here's the door. And can you see the spider? We'll come in a little bit closer. There he is. His front, he's pointing down to the ground and his front legs are so long. What should we do with him? Should we take him outside and put him in the garden? Because it's not really very good if he's next to the handle. I might bump him. He doesn't hurt us. Okay, let's see if we can gently pick him up and take him outside. Gently. Gently pick him up. Come on, come on spider. I know I'm not the same colour. Look, Peter's holding him so carefully. We'll take him out. We'll take the spider out. We'll have to find a tree that's nearly the same colour because he needs to hide. If he, if I put him on something green, if I put him on something green, the birds will see him. But if I put him on something brown, like him, do you think he'll like that? Touch it, spider. Look, he's going, oh, do I want to go up there? There we are. He can hide there. He does look like a stick. I think he's some sort of a stick spider. When we go back inside, we'll get out the book and we'll have a look. If we go right back, oh, we can go in close and look at him. Mm, he's thinking of walking now. Does he know I'm watching? He's going around the other side or is he just waving goodbye? And if we go back out, we can't see him. I have to walk around. If we come around this way, He's good at hiding, isn't he? He's got great camouflage. He's the same colour and he can be as still as a stick. I hope he likes it there. Now let's go inside and discover what sort of spider he is. Hello, it's Grandma again. And Peter. Peter, did you go and find a book? Do you want to show everyone? Okay, here it is. It's a little book, isn't it? It's called... Spiders of Australia. And that's where we live, in Australia. Did you find the spider in that book? Okay, let's open it up and show everyone. Here we are. Can you see the picture? He's got a long bottom and a long head. So a spider has got a head and an abdomen. But insects, they've got a head, thorax and abdomen. And his head is so little, you can't really even see his eyes. And this picture here in this book is of a male. Oh, did I tell you what sort of spider it was? It's called a pterygnathia spider, which is one of the spiders of the orb spiders, an orb-weaving spider. And this one is called the long mouth orb spider. That's the one that we found at my back door. But he's not there now. He's in a much safer place now. He's out where his colour helps him be like a stick and hide amongst the tree. But he could be eaten by a bird because that's what birds eat. Everyone, 
all the animals in my garden all help each other. Sometimes they're dinner and sometimes they're the ones that find something to eat for dinner. <laughs> Can you hear my kookaburras? They're out in my tree right now. Well, I wonder if you've got a book about spiders that live near you. You saw that Peter picked him up because he couldn't hurt Peter because he's a glove, a puppet, isn't he? But he's got such a tiny mouth that he couldn't bite Peter. If you see a spider, you tell Mummy and Daddy and ask them, is that a dangerous spider? Do we need to put it outside so it's safe? If you see a spider, always ask a grown-up. Okay, remember to like our channel and come back. Subscribe if you can. Subscribe to our channel and come back and see Peter and Grandma and we'll see what else we can find in our garden. Bye-bye.